Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about payable keyword in Solidity. So let's say I want to transfer, transfer, you know, transfer some ether to my contract. I want to do that. Okay. And if you remember from our Ethereum types of accounts video, I told you, right, that contract have their own account. Contracts have their own account. And these contracts can also receive ether. And this is what we are going to see today as well. Okay. So let me show you that. So let's say I want to transfer some ether to my contract. So I will do function and then send ether to contract. Okay. This is the name of my function. And then I will make it public. And now in order to receive some ether in my contract, I need to make this function a payable function. Okay. So I will use this payable keyword and then I will have my parenthesis. And this is it. So now my contract or I will say this function is ready to accept ether and whatever ether will be transferred using this function will get automatically transferred to our contract address and we can see that as well. So let me deploy this for now. So once I will deploy this, you can see here that this is my contract address. Okay. So this is our contract account and currently the balance of our contract account is zero ETH, right? It is showing us zero ether, right? Now I want to transfer some ether from, let's say this account to this particular contract. So how can I do that? So in order to do that, I have to simply write some value here in this box, this text box. I will, let's say I want to transfer 10 ether to my contract. So I will have 10 here. Then I will select unit as ether. And now what I will do is I will simply call this send ether function. Now, as soon as I will call this send ether function, 10 ether will get detected from this account because this function is going to call this send ether to contract function and he has selected 10 ether, right? So 10 ether will get detected from this account and 10 ether will be transferred to our contract account, which is this address. So let us see this. So I'm clicking on this send ether function. So now you can clearly see that the balance of our contract is 10 ether. And if you will go back, you can clearly see that earlier it was this address was having around 99.99 ether. And now it is only having 89.99 ether because 10 ether has been detected from this account address. So this is the use of payable keyword. OK, and it is not like you can definitely write some code inside this as well. It's not that you do not you do not need to write any kind of code inside this. You can have whatever code you want inside this function. But in order to receive some ether, you do not need to do anything like just doing this is more than enough in order to receive in order to have have your contract capable enough to receive some ether. OK, but definitely you can write some code here. Like let's say you want to add some number. You can do that. That's not a problem. It will not give you any kind of error. That's not an issue. But yes, in order to receive ether, writing this is more than enough. Just writing this payable keyword will make your contract powerful enough to receive ether. And let us see one more thing also. Let's say I want to see the balance of my contract. Definitely I can see this as like here as well, I know. But let's say I want to do it from my end. So what I can do in order to do that is balance of contract. Okay. And I will simply then make it public view returns. And since the balance of my contract will be in UINT, so UINT. And then I will have return. And now in order to fetch the balance of my contract, what I have to do is I have to write address, then this, okay, and then balance. Now this syntax will actually return the address of, sorry, not the address, actually the balance of my contract, okay. So this is a convention, like I will say that this is actually this that we are using here, right? This is actually representing our contract. Okay. And then we are actually explicitly type casting it to our address type. Okay. And then we are fetching the balance by using this dot balance method. So let me show you this. So let me deploy this again. Okay. So now if I will see the initial balance of my contract, it is zero. Okay. Now let's say I want to transfer some ether to this contract. Let's say 20 ether this time. I will click on send ether. So now the contract is having 20 ether. And now I will check the balance. So now you can see that 20 ether has been transferred to my contract account. It is not showing in terms of ether. Actually, it is showing in terms of way. That's why it is a huge value. And I can prove that as well. Let me show you ether to 
weight converter now i will click on this and now let me have this value so now you can clearly see that after having this value it has it's get it's get converted to 20 ether right so whenever you are actually doing some transaction in solidity right most of those transactions are being done in way only for us we are seeing it in ether but at the back end whatever transaction that we are doing is actually in terms of way that's why it is showing us this way value okay so by using this payable keyword you can transfer ether to your contract and by using this particular syntax you can get the balance of your contract okay so this is it for this video meet you soon in the next video if you have liked this video please click on that like button if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel because i am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel so meet you soon in the next video till then take care Bye-bye. And do not forget, if you have any doubts, please comment below. Okay?